Welcome to our second video in our die cut part series. Today we're going to discuss pressure sensitive adhesives, or PSAs for short, and their characteristics. PSAs combine the characteristics of rigid solids and viscous liquids. Under pressure, they can flow but may also transfer high forces. This behavior is called viscoelastic. In contact with a surface, flowable PSAs develop mechanical and physical chemical interactions. These result in an adhesive force between the adhesive and the surface. This adhesive force, also known as tack, or simply adhesion, provides the external strength of the adhesive against the substrate. Cohesion is the result of mechanical and physical chemical interactions between the molecules of the adhesive. Adhesion to the bonding part and cohesion within the adhesive are requirements for strong bonding. Two simple everyday examples illustrate why that's the case. Honey has a high level of adhesion. It sticks to the surface of our knife or to a slice of breakfast toast. But due to its minimal cohesion, it can be spread easily and will flow off the knife. By contrast, solid beeswax has a high level of cohesion so that it can even be formed into rigid candles. Towards the outside, the solid wax develops only minimal adhesion and therefore hardly sticks to anything. In its material behavior, a pressure-sensitive adhesive combines the adhesion of viscous honey and the cohesion of rigid beeswax. PSAs can be divided into four groups according to their main chemical components. Each group has advantages over another, depending on where it's used. Rubber-based adhesives quickly develop tack even on difficult low-energy substrates. Their low durability is a disadvantage, making them not suitable for all applications. Their resistance to shear stress, for instance, is limited. Acrylic adhesives enable highly shear resistant bonding to high energy surfaces. They are not suitable for low energy surfaces and need more time to develop initial tack. Modified acrylic adhesives have high initial tack, also on low energy substrates, but their aging and media resistance degrades and their shear resistance is clearly lower. Silicone adhesives are optimally suited for low energy substrates and have very good aging and temperature resistance. Their relatively high price and low shear resistance and tack compared to acrylic adhesives on high energy substrates are disadvantages. In our next video, you'll find out what effect the substrate and the parameters have on adhesive bonding.